Good afternoon, Poker Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium video. We're gonna continue on with the Venusaur team again in this episode. We got we won last episode by the skin of our darn teeth. I will say that right now. We got so lucky my opponent brought some funky Pokemon out of his uh, out, out of his six, and we were also lucky that you know we didn't miss a single heat wave. Didn't get paralyzed. Didn't miss a single snarl. It was a lot of things that uh, had to come together in that last video. If you guys didn't see it, make sure to check it out. It was definitely a fun one. Now we're going against another Sun team, which is super interesting with a Leafeon. I don't know if this is Wolf Glick's team. All I know is that Wolf Glick ran a Leafeon at one point in time. I'm not sure what the exact team is, but you know what? We, I think, are, I think we're pretty prepared for this. I think we're pretty pre uh, prepared for this, especially if we go Persian Duraludon. I think we'll be able to take care of a lot of the threats that he does have on his team with fake tears and with, you know, just Life Orb, G Max, or D Max Duraludon. Um, along with that, the Venusaur is a must here. I 100% think Venusaur is a must, especially if he's going to bring his own son, which it looks like he is. I'll just bring my Venusaur and, and you know, just go to town on my own. Um, Charizard is an option. And I'm going to do it on the off chance that he decides to bring his Torkoal. I hope he decides to bring his Torkoal because I'm not bringing my Torkoal. And if I'm not bringing my Torkoal, then I don't I don't get solar power. Which I kind of need to do damage, especially since I'm Charty Bear. I'm not even Life Orb. I have the Life Orb on my Duraludon. But we'll see how this goes. If you guys enjoy Pokesports and if you guys enjoy VGC, then by all means, support us by hitting that like down below and share this video with your friends if you end up enjoying it just to support the channel in any way possible. Now, it looks like what I'm going to try to do here is blow up this guy, this guy to the right. I'm going to try to blow him up to absolutely obliterate him. Highest damage output. Max Wormwind. I am going to try to destroy Dusclops <laughs> to the best of my ability with Fake Tears combo and Max Wormwind, Max investment into special attack and the Life Orb. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I'm actually not confident I can Oko it, but I really hope I can because it's super necessary that I do. Because if he does get Trick Room up and I lose a, my D Max for no reason, then I'm in even deeper doo doo. And I don't want to be in deep doo doo. Deep doo doo is not my preference. My D Max is going to go off first, which means either he didn't D Max or he has a slow Charizard. I'm hoping it's it's it, I hope it that he didn't D-Max here. Oh beautiful, he doesn't. Oh wow, okay. Wait, I'm so confused. Why wouldn't you D-Max? Get the fake tears off. He's gonna heat wave, we take this. Oh, if I was weakness pause, that'd be so good. He burns us, doesn't matter. Max Worm 1, let's see it. Oh please! Oh please! Yes! Okay, this is a game now, boys. This is a game. But now I can Icy Wind next turn. Outspeed the Charizard, which is nice too. But this is a game. Getting rid of... It's so nice knowing I can Oko a Dusclops with that strategy. Jeez, that's so nice knowing. This Dusclops has always been a pain for me. He's gonna go with the Torkoal setup here. Interesting. I'm kind of happy about that a little bit. I'm going to go for the Icy Wind. And I think I'm going to commit to damaging this Zard as much as possible. Icy Wind followed by big boy damage onto Zard. Torkoal Prote Beautiful. I might even have a D-Max at the end of this turn, depending on what Charizard decides to do. He's not... Wait, Charizard dies. He didn't Dynamax yet. Is he so confident? I, see, I I love Persian. Persian is the highlight of this whole team. I love Persian so much. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, dude, people don't expect Icy Wind. Icy Wind's so good, man. Icy Wind is so good with dynamic speed change. It's so good that I'm not running Quash. That should let you guys know how good Icy Wind is. 
Like if if you if you can convince Kevin not to run Quash on a Pokemon, then you know that 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 icy wind is good. <laughs> I'm like, what's the point of lowering one speed when I could lower two speeds? That literally was my thought process behind that whole situation. Uh, I don't want to give Rhyperior actually fake tears Rhyperior. We'll just delete Rhyperior right here. Wait, is this super effective? It is right. Fake Tears plus super effective Max Steel Spike with Life Orb should be enough even at D-Max. I'm calling it now. If it's not, then I just gave this thing weakness policy for no reason. My other option was to go for a Max Wormwind, not give it weakness policy, get myself stab, and lower his attack. But I think that with fake... Okay, nothing happens. Never mind. Ignore me. Nothing happens. He's just going to commit to getting rid of my Duralodon here, which makes a lot of sense. I should have just gone for the Torkoal. But it's fine. Duralodon's going down. Persian's going down. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to be able to come in here with my Grassy Boys. So I am okay with this. Sadly, he's ha he still has a D-Max. I don't. I think I'm just going to put Big Boy to sleep for a turn. And then start worrying about this, this Torkoal here. I do have Charty Barriers, so that's something to keep in mind, but. Yeah, we'll worry about, oh, Big Boy can't protect. I could just go balls to the wall on this Big Boy right here. I'm gonna do it. I'm going uh, Energy Ball, Solar Beam. On this right period right here. See what energy ball does? Not enough. So thank God I solar beamed. Give him weakness policy. Doesn't matter. Solar beam is going to happen. I'm going to lose the Venusaur here. It's uh, it's kind of obvious. To like a heat wave from Torkoal. And then I'm going to have to rely on air slash flinches. But I think that was my best option sadly. I need that right period gun. That right period just. Does too much to my team. He erupts. Oh, jeez. I lose. I don't think my charge is going to take this. Ouch. Okay. I need the strongest air slash of my life. I can take... I need one air slash flinch. And I should be able to take... I just need one. Just one air slash flinch. But he's going to protect to stall out this solar beam. The, the so Oh, no. He's not protecting. One air slash flinch. Just one. I never get these. <laughs> no. I hate Rhyperior. <laughs> I hate Rhyperior so much. Why is it so oppressive? It's so disgusting. Oh, no. This team isn't doing as well as I wanted it to. What's going on here? Oh, we had such a good lead, too. I'm going to play another one. Just to kind of make myself feel a little bit better. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's so sad. Oh, no, our rating. Ignore the rating. It'll get better. <laughs> and it wasn't even like there was hacks there. I guess it was just me hard committing first turn while he didn't. Just kind of ruined me. And we're going against Trick Room here. Uh, how do we break this Hatterene and Didi? Oh, wait, we have Durla done. Okay, easy. Duralodon can take care of a lot of his team, actually. Venusaur is a must again. Mm. Is, do we just Charizard again? Or do we Torkoal again? Or just Torkoal, period? I mean, I guess we can bring Torkoal, especially if he accidentally gets Trick him up. I guess I also don't really need Persian. So, yeah, you know what? Let's lead... Torkoal Duraludon's a weird lead. <laughs> Let's do Venusaur Duraludon. No, oh, I don't want Venusaur going down that quick. Oh, but I really don't need Persian. I could Snarl Spam. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah Persian. Persian, 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 100%. Because then I'll break, uh, just in case that uh, the Hatterene has a Focus Sash, then I'll be okay. Then Venusaur Tor Torkoal. Oh, do I lack damage? And it's fine. I don't think I lack damage. We're not bringing Charizard yet. 
<laughs> Maybe G maxing my Charizard is my mistake. Maybe that's what I should be doing and I'm not doing. Going against ripping. What are you ripping? Hopefully it's not my neck off my head. <laughs> or my body. Because honestly, that last battle hurt a little bit. But it's fine. We're going to make up for it right here, right now. How to read in Didi. Didn't see that one coming. No way. No way. Double shiny. Look at you go. I just got one. Now. This should be an easy turn. If everything goes right, this is an easy turn. This should just be a simple max steel spike into Hatterene followed by Snarl. And everything should go right. Uh, Snarl will be able to break any potential sashes. And with Stalwart, I will be able to ignore any follow me potential. Um, so this should be a straight up just removing Trick Room from the game immediately. Which is nice. And just in case I somehow... The, the stars don't align here. I will be able to at least take advantage with my Torkoal. My Torkoal's slow, so it'll help. Especially if the Trick Room does go up. You're gonna D-Max. Excuse me? G-Max? Does Hatterene... Or does Ndidi get Copycat? I don't think it does, so... I guess he's just committing to... Oh, you're committing to that. Thankfully, we nullify that with Snarl. But he's committing to Okoing my Duraldon right here, right now. And honestly, he might. We'll see. Wait, no, he has no Baviri Berry. It's over. Bye. Bye-bye. Nice job. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh my god, we live in... <laughs> Jeez, but everything's confused now. Oh, okay. He's life orb too. At least I know I can survive a life orb one after life orb. That's nice knowing I have no special defense investment at all. Oh boy. That was a rough one. I'm going to go ahead and assume... That I'm going to hit my moves through confusion... <laughs> he max guards. Okay. So he's he's assuming that I'm going to hit myself in confusion. That was also a negative one. That's something to keep in mind. That was a negative one. So I wouldn't have been able to live it on my own. That's crazy. That's a good strategy. Against uh, Duraludon. Now if I break through, I get rid of the Ndidi. Yeah, we're breaking through, boys. Nice. Okay. That's good. Good job, guys. So we essentially just made him waste a turn. Which is really sweet. My Duraldon's down plus the defense. I'm probably going to die off the life orb. Uh, but you know what? Duraldon did its job. Oh, we live in a three! <laughs> nice, man. Nice. Alrighty. What are you going to switch into? Riperior. Okay. Can I Oko right here with Life Orb if he's not D-Max? I believe I can. Anyway, I'm going to try. <laughs> I might as well try. Because Hatterene is swapping. Interesting. So I should have fake tiered there. Goes into Sylveon. Sylveon's going to get the negative one, hopefully, if I break through Confusions. Right here protects. I'll just get the weakness policy. Smart man, smart man. Breakthrough. Yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're going to get a negative one off on the Sylveon immediately. I love this cat so much. If we ever lose, it's never the cat's fault. Let me just say that right now. It's never Persian's fault if we lose. It's fine. He was going to die to life orb anyway. And now we just didn't give... Rhyperior weakness policy, which is pretty big. Uh, Venusaur, hello. Nice to meet you. I'm going to swap you right in here. Seems pretty safe to just go for energy ball on Rhyperior. Nothing. 
Nothing can really stop me. And he can D-Max, so this should KO with Modest and Max Investment, 100%. I have zero doubts about this. Sylveon protects, that's okay. Maybe predicting a sludge bomb, but no, I want to get rid of this guy. Snap out of confusion, which is nice. I'm going to be able to lower the Rhyperior special attack, which is crucial. <laughs> but, you know, damage is damage, right? Stab snarls. Don't, don't mess. And that should be dead Rhyperior. Nice. Okay. Playing this well. Playing this well. It's going better than the last game. I'm not going to say it's a win, but it's going better. Pokesports.com, or I mean, not Pokesports.com, Teespring.com slash store slash Pokesports. Hatterene's here at 1 HP. Okay, so this should be, this is, should be game here. I'm just gonna snarl again. We don't miss snarls on this Lyper, dude. Battle was canceled. There it is. Okay, so we were able to walk out of this with one win, one loss, which isn't too bad. I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, you guys know what to do. Like and comment down below. Subscribe to Poke Sports if you haven't done so already on the road to a thousand subscribers. Check out our podcast. Check out our Patreon. We do we do a, a coaching there now, which is an option. And we have a bunch of other stuff like a exclusive Patreon podcast access to the discord access to patreon giveaways access to discounted merch and all that good stuff so make sure to check it out it's a it's actually a good time and a lot of our patrons do have a lot of fun time in the patreon discord but with that said i'm kevin this is pokey sports have a great night enjoy yourselves and peace out